Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to fail back uh, DAG from like global primary to uh, like forwarder. So in and previously my uh, I'm node 1 and node 2 belongs to one cluster. Node 3 and node 4 belongs to one cluster. Now if I go to node 1 here, if I go open my uh, role win cluster 01 ABC I am running a uh, like my AG role uh, availability group one is running on that in that if I go here now now node 1 and node 2 is part of the windows cluster now if I go here node 3 and these like cluster win cluster 002 AG2 is running on global now if I go nodes here these are like parts of now before making this video I fail back from node 1 which is like global primary to forwarder which is node 3 now I want to fail back the scenario now like uh, you see the same kind of like uh, failover only but I'm failing back that's the reason I'm call take, calling it as a fail back okay now uh, now let's see how what is primary what is global primary now using SSMS now see I have connected all are in same subnet first of all um, now if I expand here now yep. so now if I am expand node 2 node 1 is the primary for availability uh, group of AG1 now if I distribute AG like here now AG1 is acting as a secondary it means it means it is a global forwarder why because here primary is running on that this is the reason I am calling it as a forwarder okay now AG2 AG2 is, is hosting on a, a node 3 and node 4 right now if I go AG2 is primary now node 2 now node 3 node 3 is acting as a primary now this is acting as a primary uh, uh, global primary node 4 is acting as a global uh, sorry uh, secondary for the primary replica now in the main sub in the uh, own uh, windows cluster now what I want to do here is I am having windows 2019 database and here I am having two databases right now I want to fail back if you want to fail back before what you need to do here is you want to uh, make them into uh, like synchronization first you have to run this command go to this uh, global primary uh, which is uh, node 3 right click on that new query and execute so that both databases are in synchronous commit done and now you have to go to the uh, forwarder in my case it is node 1 now new query execute you need to run on the master right so select the master click execute done sir I have distributed now so what happened now now I need to go to the sir here we have so uh, much documents whether we need to sync or health what is the last uh, LS and everything is there sir now if I go here see as of now it is my home lab and everything is uh, like save now go to new query sir everything is healthy and healthy okay and now what is this is the LSN or oh, like in the same uh, like uh, for AG2 and the, all the databases okay now if I go to the uh, this one primary sorry forwarder now everything is healthy and that uh, synchronizes commit only and my failover mode is manual okay yeah it is now good uh, like uh, you can verify that uh, uh, LSN as well okay otherwise you can see that healthy status now this one is good now you can check the both LSN here as well so now I am trying to this open and open this uh, new this one I am closing 
now what I am doing here I am giving the, the global primary name connect meanwhile come to query type SQL CMD now here come here copy the forwarder instance name give here now execute it if I do that see same lesson is there or not see same same in the primary it is same in the second forward is also it is same now so what the Microsoft documentation is saying here so before from SQL Server 2022 onwards so at least there should be one secondary if you if before issuing the command first you need to use this command what in and I know first you need to on the global primary select the distribution availability group to secondary now now copy this command uh, what is my like uh, new primary this one so replace with the DAG name what as of now in my case distribute DAG is the name now I am I need to issue this command that's it now it did roll sit at this time distributed availability group is not available now copy this command now execute it sit done okay now it will at least synchronize if we have multiple secondaries um, like after uh, in the secondary location at that time it will at least sync one location now uh, like you can like global primary and forward check that of failover readiness all we have already checked everything now first you need to use this command where I need to use in the forwarder in my case what is the forwarder like node 1 now go to new query new query done so here you need to select the master sir it is done now failover the primary available second group now it is for uh, now run the following command and the forward yes we have done that now later clear the distribution availability groups later clear the now um, we know which is a primary right now I just copy this command and I'm going to uh, let's verify who, what is the primary now done 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 go to availability groups I uh, now distributed dist replica age one is primary now in that uh, node one is primary right so it is showing that now this is the global um, primary replica global primary now query I am trying to zero hit it's not mandatory and now I am opening master I am clearing that after that what I need to do here is I need to make the database into asynchronous why because we the databases are in different node right now copy this command go to new query so uh, a yeah, that's it now I'll go to master done sir now that we have set the distributed why because uh, the data centers are very far so if we keep uh, synchronous it will create unnecessary burden on the global primary that's the reason we kept that is a distributed so yep this is done uh, now I am closing all the windows I am closing all the windows Oh. yep this one also I'm like now you verify see now done Re I have refresh everything I have refresh everything now if I like uh, what I want to do like now expand sir uh, distributed go to expand that replicas sir ag1 ag1 is primary means this one is primary and AG2 is a secondary means we have fail back operation when successful first of all that is the one thing okay this is the now node one is acting as a global primary now go back to the this thing uh, like always an availability this one is normal secondary obviously in the secondary replica you don't see that uh, distributed DAG okay it will only you are going to see in the primaries now go to node 3 go to expand that sir AG2 currently availability group 2 is acting as a primary for node 3 and for node 4 if I see that's the reason you are able to see the distributor now you will see AG2 as a secondary here 
see ag2 as a secondary okay now uh, this is done now if i go see node 4 you don't see the distributor availability groups let me see you don't see the distributed availability groups okay so now i can say that my failback operation is when successful meanwhile meanwhile what i can do here is do is i will create one dummy database dummy database i am taking the full backup i am taking the full backup done now i would like to add this into my prime and uh, database database now next 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 finish yeah it is done okay now we i have added only in the primary node 1 so obviously node 1 and node 2 is part of that right so obviously no need to do anything obviously you will get this database into node ray now this is the forwarder or now forwarder come primary uh, for the node 3 node 4 okay now refresh this one see whether this database got added into or not see added now go to node node 4 see this dummy was database added so now uh, i can confidently say that my fail uh, failover uh, happened was previously now my fail back operation which we can say dr drill okay so when successful i hope you may like my video and my initiation thank you